A dangerous mix of hydrogen and nitrogen exploded in their faces. Still four University of Missouri researchers survived. Tonight, investigators say those victims are more than lucky. Larry Seward is in Columbia to explain. Larry? Elizabeth, tonight we just got an update from fire officials here in Columbia. They say those four victims actually made a almost a fatal mistake. With They were inside this lab on the top floor where you see the windows are boarded up. They were working with hydrogen inside an anaerobic hood. They were examining bacteria. Apparently, they were not familiar with the alarm system for that hydrogen gas. Left the gas on. That gas exploded, and that is what fire officials tonight are saying caused this explosion. Again, four of them inside there. The experiment pretty much blew up right in their faces. Three of them were sent to the hospital, treated and released. The fourth is still in the hospital, listed in good condition in the burn unit. This all happened around 2.15 today inside Schweitzer Hall, which is the biosciences building here. Uh, witnesses described hearing a very loud explosion, at which point they saw a lot of white smoke coming from the top floor. Scientists streaming or researchers streaming out of the building. Fire officials evacuated the building. It is still evacuated tonight and is going to be as they clean up. But again, no one seriously injured injured in this explosion. The damage contained pretty much to just that one lab on the top floor. The sprinklers went off in the building, and so one lab on the first floor actually suffered some water damage. And again, once that is cleaned up, Schweitzer Hall is expected to reopen, but a very remarkable situation where an experiment blows up in some researchers' faces, but they survive. That is the very latest. We are live in Columbia tonight. Larry Seward, NBC Action News.